Right, okay, good afternoon, folks. Thanks for joining us again. Third fair in three days. Today we're down in Bath, North Somerset. Let's kick it off with the chicken wrap shack because uh, never mind the onions, you can keep your onions today. Check this out. Right, now we're talking. We're talking peppers. They almost look as good as mine. Look at it. Fair play. Proper sausages. Yeah, we're going to pass on this one. Definitely. Bit of bacon. Now that looks like a... Let's have a look at this wrap when it comes out because that looks pretty impressive there. Yeah, nice bit of tortilla on there. Yep, nice one. Mick McCarthy and his golden nuggets. Take your pick, we've got a few salads and... Uh... We, we won't lower the tone just yet, it's too early. Right, okay, let's kick it off and uh, let's have a look what's here. It's quite a bit down here, this is going to be a, a, quite a nice vlog. Now we're going to start off with Moon Dancer Miami, which is uh, Henry Studs. It's an absolute classic looking uh, Miami. I love these moons on the uh, top corners. What does that say? Mucking... Mucking Fagic. <laughs> okay, we... <laughs> well, yeah, all right, we're setting the tone earlier on. Mucking Fagic. Have you seen that? Mucking Fagic. Right, that was built by Nottingham UK in, uh, oh God, 2002. Swinging him round. Another one of Henry's. KMG Free Cape built in the Netherlands. Two thousand and three that was manufactured. Now if you want to see Kate Henry's stuff, um, they tour around Wales quite a lot. Hey that looks like it's spinning quite fast as well. All the rides down in Bath are uh, only two quid. I mean, that's a steal. Today's day and age. This fair's on for um, a couple of weeks. Uh, at the start of uh, April 2023. And your postcode for this one is BA12NQ. Uh, and the last seat for the fair is Stephen Fullwood. Right, let's, let's get going. Now this is a new one for uh, Scarrots. They had a, a mini wheel and uh, that's now been replaced by this uh, Everglade Gator ride. Oh, that chicken wrap place. Well. The bloke who works on it, he's even eating it, so it must be all right. <laughs> if he's eating it, <laughs> that'll do for me. All right, Chief. Paratrooper Charlton Day. Thank you. 
to the power trooper um, a couple of days ago. We were at, that um, oh, was yesterday, it was uh, Wilson's Fun Fair, that was uh, Clifton Hill, his 1973 Maxwell. This one was built in uh, 1980. Uh, it was a company called Leisure Sales, but probably better known by uh, the name Ivan Bennett, 1980. Looks like it's gonna be a while before uh, he sends it off. Is that a bun juice? Monster trucks. Right, the road, rotor ride that we see uh, quite often in the Midlands, that's owned by uh, Jordan Kroll. I've never really fancied doing a, a vlog inside of one of these because uh, when them things get spinning there, it really does spin you back. I'm just a bit worried what, what might happen. The sticky wall. Feel the power. Built by John Rennie in 1999. Hey, Ah, it's been dark in there, but yeah, it just spins round and round like a, a sideways washing machine. The floor goes up, you stick to the wall, and then the, uh, the floor comes down on that one. Very powerful. Let's do this. Go right, boss. You wouldn't be going on that is strapping upon Avon for uh, two quid, I tell you. All right, mate. Right, we've got a few of these shooters down here today. Why have we not got off the back of the air, but it's gone? Yeah. Why have we not got off the air, but it's gone? So why have we landed them off the pit? So what are you going to do? Yeah. I got banned from one of these once, it's always too good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going one, I'm going. Right. We're doing the vlog for YouTube for you. <laughs> Got some nice, uh, nice looking pups on here. Chuck a few darts. Four darts for four quid. Score over five for a small prize. Score over seven for a medium. Score over eight for a large one. If you get 11, you can take your pick. I like that one, it looks like me, so fuck it. Right. What you got there, buddy? We got a monkey. Fair play. Score over 11, you can get your hands on that one, folks. Well done, boss. Right, let's keep it going. See you in a bit. Right, we'll uh, come back on this one because uh, William Scarrett with his Psycho in has had a lot of work done on it. It's got new boarding on it. We had new lights last year and uh, some work got done on the inside as well, but 
Yeah, we've got new boarding now, and that looks absolutely stunning. He said to me he's well pleased with this. I should think he is. Someone's done a really good job on that. Lucky okay, ducks. Stick your head in there, Photoshop. He's in. Oh yeah, I've got to give a shout out to the security, RS Security. Now, that's a, that's a security company that behaves itself. Yeah, they're a good bunch. Very polite, no assholes off them whatsoever. So RS Security. Shady Scarrett's down here as well, with his uh, funhouse, crazy circus. The greatest show on earth. Ground's a little bit soft, folks, but again, just as it was in Redditch yesterday, this ground was underwater, huh? which is quite a surprise considering it's on a slope. Uh, it is a bit spongy still, but it's not, it ain't too bad. But it didn't open for the first couple of days, is fair. Now these ones always get me, folks. Shoot the uh, shoot the ring over the top of the bottle. You can win the money. Wow, I don't know what's inside the what's inside the bottles, then, bud. Nothing. They're bloody empty, aren't they? What use is that? <laughs> <laughs> I've drank them all. They're not. He, he, he bloody would as well. <laughs> Wait, I'm legging it up. No leaning over. No bloody cheating. <laughs> So what you gotta do, boss? You just you got your you got your guns. And what you doing? Just shooting, shooting corks, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be done, folks. Right. Okay. Fun fair audits. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Yeah, Brummy. Go sit on the spike. We got the Brummy with us today. I didn't get a clout for the uh, vlog where I was winding her up about being 60. I got away with that one. Go on, sit on the spike. <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. You alright, darling? Quite a nice big inflatable there. Boss is sat in the sun. He's all right. He's getting a suntan. How you doing, Chief? Good, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Yeah. Right, so back to your uh, sweetie stalls. That's not too bad. Like I said about the um, the onions yesterday, about the way the prices have gone uh, sky high and through the roof. Yeah, I know the food prices have gone up, but this is not too bad on this one, actually. How much are you paying for a net of onions now? 30 quid, that's what I was uh, discussing with yesterday. Yeah, because it's gone up from about 12, 16 quid to 30 quid, hasn't it? Yeah, the, these onion prices, they've, they've just uh, skyrocketed, folks. Can't really get in there to see the onions, but no, they look all right. 
Hey, I say one thing about Bath. These look like proper sausages. Every one that I've seen so far, they got proper sausages. One of that cheap tack out of a jar. These are, yeah, these are good ones. So yeah, you can get your hot chocolates and your drinks, your slushies. It's all on here. Got some nice donuts as well. Let's uh, let's get you in on these donuts. Yep, nice one. Right, let's go and have a look at a few more rides then. Oh, here's your fair uh, poster for your fair. There we go. Royal Victoria Park. Now, just be wary with this um, postcode because it, it's a git to find this one. If you turn into the Royal Victoria Park itself, uh, you've gone wrong. Um, you need to turn bang opposite uh, and it's like a one-way road that goes around another section of the park uh, keep following that for a couple of minutes and you'll eventually come up to the fair but yeah it's a bit of a devil to find it and they have got this clean air policy as well in Bath just hope, just hope for the best that I don't get nobbled for that Good old traditional boarding. There's bungees everywhere here. I think there must be three or four sets. <laughs> Excuse me. Coughing me lungs up. Right, you got a how to scouter. That one's owned by Frank Creecraft. Your old time swings for the kids. Hang on, Funfair Audis is in town. I've just noticed something. It says, uh, do not spin the cars. Well, you know what I say. That's red rag to a bull. I asked for it. Right, let's get out of here before I get in trouble. Uh, we've got some boarding down here. Like I say, you know, the screen was underwater. Let's have a quick, quick look at this lot. This one's crazy, this one's fun. The people are saying it's number one. Okay, set this way. Join us now on the crazy fun house. So, your gladiator fun house, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's owned by Philip Stevens. Couple of inflatables down there, one of them's huge. It's sort of like kitted out like a ship. Yeah. Still a bit of mud around in the shade. So yeah, just just bear it in mind. Don't get coming down here in oil shoes. It'd be mad. My trousers are falling down again. Score over seven to win. You win me if you lose.
Oh, I don't get that. It's a dog and it's got bananas on it. I thought it'd been a monkey, I could have understood it, but. Alright, okay. <laughs> Hi right, boss. Yeah, very well, thank you. Whoa, look at the size of them folks. Hook the duck. Not a no bloody duck, I mean that's huge. Wow. I think I might just took cook a turkey for Easter, look at it that. Keep your leg a lamb, I might just cook a bloody turkey. Come on, be honest. Be honest. Is that really a duck or is that a turkey? Turkey. It's a bloody turkey. <laughs> right, we're in. You got your candy floss? Got your slushes. I can't see them, Brummy. Candy. We never had our candy floss last night. That was the candy floss that I lost in Bristol at Christmas. <laughs> and yesterday. Ah, there you go. Butt plugs, multicoloured. Do you want one? She's keeping, she's keeping quiet today. What about a sausage? I thought you liked a bit of sausage. She does. Do you like it with batter? Look at his our mates for the security. Yep, shout out to them. Oh, now that one's actually advertising it. With or without onions. Now that could be a good call because the way their prices of the onions are going, it might be a good idea to have a choice on that. A couple of people aren't uh, too happy with the idea of having to do that, but I think, you know, with the prices tripling on the onions, it's, that's probably makes sense. <laughs> now, this got voted my number one ride for uh, 2022. Edward Holmes, the, uh, the waltzer, built by Orton and Spooner. This one was manufactured in uh, 1936. Now when this thing gets going, this thing motors. Now it can't win the ride of the year this year. No two rides on my channel. No ride can win it two years running, because that wouldn't be fair. But it'll certainly get an honourable mention. Yeah, absolutely stunning rider. Let's get you up and just have a quick look. Absolute class. Right, let's keep moving it around. Rock 
in the nation. Sabima Matterhorn, Freddy's Revenge, Sean Rogers. A lot of people really rave about this one. Yeah, it is a good one, but I think I might have done better. It was another one, I think it was Ashley's. Ashley Rogers. Now I went on that one and that was uh, that really bowed it out. Made in Belgium in 1991. I want to go and have a look at that food store that's, uh, they sell Greek food. I want to go and have a, have a look and see what they got on there. It was round here somewhere. Oh, there it is, it's round here. Yeah, my trains keep coming down. My pants are going to be down in a minute. Right, so we got tasty little Greek wraps. Now this is something a bit different. Don't normally see these type of things on the channel. So let's go and have a look and see what we got. Uh, and the answer to that is nothing. <laughs> I suppose in the uh, bowl there we've got some tzatziki. <laughs> so no, I can't see any... It does say pork souvlaki and uh, your salad box, your halloumis. I don't know, perhaps they're hiding in those pots. But let's have a look at this hot food on here because that looks pretty good. What you got in the box? Okay. Right. That's barbecue pork, that's the way we've got barbecue pork. Yeah. Stuffing. They're quite thick looking burgers as well. Yeah, got proper food on this one. So uh, yeah, look out for the sign that says uh, the Greek, Greek wraps. Just come back and have one of them in a minute. <laughs> I think I'm well, I'm hungry, and those burgers look really nice. Right, now as a Wolves fan, there's no point me having a go at this because uh, Wolves can't score goals to save their bloody lives. That's probably why they haven't got any warm shirts here. Go on, show us what you got. Go on, go on, do it. Let's let's have a look for the blog. Was well, that was a bit. What a half-hearted attempt that was. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of food stores here, folks. You ain't gonna get hungry.
Right, Henry Studs King Sizzler. Lovely bit of artwork on this. You've got to hand it to uh, Henry, he really does keep his stuff immaculate. This one was built by PWS in 2016. Let's go, let's go, let's get in there. Everybody dance now. So, there's your notices. Yeah, I mean the pay box looks nice on this one. Henry Stodgums. Not a company that um, I know too much about. Uh, they're a company called Manege. It's a Belgian company. Uh, manufactured in uh, 2002. No, I'm getting a bit used to the Adescos and the CBK Technics, but. No, Manage is not a name that I'm familiar with. He's the greatest dancer. They certainly weren't singing about me when they said about uh, he's the greatest dancer. I've got two left feet. I can stage dive, but I can't dance. <laughs> Go Gator. Right, this one's owned by Callum Rogers. Yeah. 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 Nice twisty circuit on it. Albert Rogers and Sons. Albert Rogers and Sons.co.uk. My bloody trousers keep falling down. Lifting balloons. Again, this one's owned by uh, Callum Rogers. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. 
I like to move it, move it. I like to spin the cars. Move it. Right, I won't get too close in on the uh, slide for obvious reasons. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Get ready. Tonight, gotta make this a night to remember. Get ready. Tonight, gonna make this a night to remember. Your bumper cars are owned by Craig Rogers. Play centre, we don't normally uh, get to have too much of a, a look in these because we got kids in them. I'm sure she won't mind if we just have a quick look. Oh, can I just have a quick look? So there you go. A couple of trampolines, you got your ball pond in there. Have it. Don't get throwing balls at each other. No stage diving. I've got to get down here again now, somehow. <laughs> There's a no compound. Wait, 
drink, the pig, the pig, the pig, the pig, the pig, the for he invented medicinal compound. Drink the lily pink, the pink, the pink. Drink up the cider. Right, okay, guys. I hear walking in that mud, so I'm going to call it quits there. So thanks for uh, joining us down in Bath. Yeah, some great stuff down here. Two weeks and only two quid a ride. Blimey, get on that. Weather forecast is a little bit mm, for uh, Wednesday and Thursday. But um, yeah, for the next two weeks after uh, after that, we're looking at an absolutely cracking uh, sunny spell. In the following week, it's going to be uh, quite warm. So yeah, if you're in a loose end and you want to Come and have a day in the sun, and have a bit of fun. Get down here to Bath. Right, I'm gonna go and get one of them burgers. They looked absolutely beautiful, so. Till the next one, thank you for joining us. Fun fair audits. Do like and subscribe. I don't monetize the channel, but it just does, it does give it a bit of uh, support and just lets uh, YouTube know that uh, you approve of the videos. So, yeah, thanks very much, and we'll see you very soon. Happy Easter.